This is the Mohead Y'all Show, showcasing the newest and oldest beer style. Heady conversations. Behind the scenes clips. And subscriber exclusives. Do you like craft beer? We, we do, do too. too. I'm Ann Million Blair. And I'm Deacon Brother Trent. Get ready to pour, pour heavy. heavy. Happy birthday, Trent Fleener. Birthday, birthday to, to me. me. <laughs> Day to you. Uh, happy, uh, birthday, uh, 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 happy birthday. Uh, uh, happy uh, birthday, Deacon. Uh, yeah, huh? Happy uh, huh, birthday. Uh, I was born Deacon. on this day happy 33 years birthday. ago. Hottest day on the earth. 110 degrees. What's up? <laughs> What's going on, motherfuckers? We are back. We are back in the heezy for sheezy. Back in the studio doing what we do. And we do it so well. Yeah. Uh, special edition. Uh, podcast episode, my busy day, Bruh, I man, I am so happy and honored to be here chilling with you on Good Deacon Brother Trent Day. Me too, man. I celebrate your life, man. You're a good friend. Thank you. So let's go ahead and celebrate. Why? I thought we were already celebrating. <laughs> I walked through the door <laughs> celebrating. I know what you're talking about. I look at him. So we're gonna start off with a man with a banger i mean they're all bangers but bang, we're starting bang, we're starting bang, off bang. good uh cherry Busey by sun king bro i'm hyped shout out to the brainsy one coming through clutch because that's what she does yeah, y'all that's what she shout does. out to the brains that's, of the operation that's right so if you've never had uh cherry Busey out there um you guys need to get out from under a rock oh man y'all this, need to this realize. beer has won so many here you'll pass it on to this beer has won so many awards um it is a flander style red ale uh, with cherries, barrel aged, um, it's Sun King's. I would say, in my opinion, it's probably the best that they they come with every year. I mean, look, look I mean, the color is ruby red. The even the head's got that pink hue to it. A <laughs> redhead re- <laughs> 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 comes in a <laughs> interesting format. Comes in a uh, one of those um, aluminum like can bottle things, right? With the yeah, twist off. Yeah, bottle, yeah. Uh, Sun King be on that with these releases like that. They do. There's kind of like, it's kind of like their bomber type release style. You know I mean? They don't come out with bombers, so they come out with little, you know, little cans or bottles, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Heck yeah, man. Illuminati. <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, we were actually there earlier today. Um, Brains and a good friend of ours, mutual friend Paul. Shout out to Paul Parmer. Shout out to Paul. Went to uh, went to Hot Boys Chicken. Ate some <clears throat> the best probably chicken sandwich I've ever had in my entire life. Man, what made it that good? It was just fucking good. It just tasted good. It had the the best like brzezzi bun. It had um, it was a little spicy, but it wasn't like it wasn't nothing to blow your hinges off or anything. And then it had coleslaw on the sandwich, and it's just. The right type of texture, the flavoring of the the breading. So give me some context, like and and like, give me some context in comparison to like the Colonel or Chick Fil A uh, or Popeyes. They ain't or got like shit that. on Hot Boys. I, I figured not. But it's but uh, that's uh, context. If I had if I had to do a mainstream, I guess I guess Canes, Raising Canes would be the closest to that. Raising Canes. Raising Canes. We're actually getting. Some, there's one in Bloomington now. Brains. Oh. Just so you know. So we're gonna have to go to Raising Cane's soon. She's so happy right now. <laughs> if you haven't had Raising Cane's, um, highly recommend. Okay, du- duly noted. Yeah. I ain't here. Yep. Man, so. you culinary, brother. Oh yeah, I like me some good food, man. Apparently. So, so. went to Hot Boys. They also have what is called the Hot Hot. It's the hottest that they make, and you have to sign a waiver and all this bukkake. But I didn't. <laughs> I didn't get that in the sandwich, but I did get the one strip challenge. Oh. Me and Paul both got that. Not the one chip. The one strip. And it was probably like a strip about that big. Okay. And uh, we tried it and um, divide and conquered and it hurt. And then I got up and all the endorphins rushed. I felt like I was on cloud nine. I was so high off my own Cape endorphins. Cation. Yes, right. Of the capsaicin. And uh, I went to go walk away to go use the bathroom. And the guy was like, did you do the one strip challenge? And I was like, yeah. And he was just like starstruck. He was just like, are you okay? And I was like, I'm fine. He had couldn't believe the, the fact that I did that. He didn't know who he I didn't know. Was, he though. didn't know. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't know. know. He didn't know. He didn't know. Did not know. But yeah, after that, went to Sun King, um, tried their state fair beer, which was fire. Um, What's the state fair beer? Um, it was the deep fried Oreo sandwich. God, beer. Yep. seriously, that man. was great. But I also sandwich. tried it on what? Cookie sandwich, not Oreo. Sorry. Cookie sandwich, yeah, that. right, 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 uh, <laughs> right. Don't right. be four fifty in it up right. in here, uh, getting in trouble. I got him. <laughs> um, had on nitro, it was phenomenal. 
Um, they, heard, I bet that was fire on yeah, night. It was. On Nitro, it just, though. it just set, it just made the, you know, just made it even better. And then they had Cherry Busey, and then got some to go stuff, and then um, here we are. Here, but yeah, we Cherry are. Busey. Oh man, hey, cheers to Cherry cheers. Busey clink, and clink. to how old are you, bro? Three, 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 three. three, three, three. Okay, that's right. Cheers to cheers. thirty-three Let's years on the planet, that's man. That's right. Oh, it's like how I remember. It's been a couple of years since I've had Cherry BC, and it does never disappoint. Mm. Ever. Man, that is cherry. It's got some nice lactic acid a little bit in there from the Flanders style. Mm. Man, this is a good beer. It's tart enough. Yeah, it's tart enough. It's tart enough. It ain't like indenting my cheeks. It's, and not, all like, that it's not like wax. Petrus sour. No, not, no. This in is that tolerable. Barrel, in that barrel rounds it, rounds it I out. I agree. I believe it's in wine barrels, too. I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure they put this in wine barrels, too. Yeah, that would make sense. Do they, I mean, do they? What what kind of wine barrels do they put them in? I don't yeah, know. I, I don't know, but I think when I read when the, they first came out with this, like when they were released, they were coming out with this this year, it was cherries and I believe a wine barrel, but it didn't, I'm not 100%, though. Okay. When was, when was the uh, last the when was the first time you had a cherry beauty? Ooh, I can tell you right now. It was I at, know you can. It was at a, it was at the very first 450 North Corn Fest. Get T F O. The very first one. It, it was one pod, so that they did the pod sections like they always do, and it was mm-hmm. us, Sun King, and um, Flat Twelve R I P. Oh, yeah, rest in peace. Had Cherry Busey and Soccer Mom and Mean Heaven. Soccer Mom. Freaked out. Cherry Busey was the sh- I didn't realize Sun King can make beer like this, right? I didn't realize Right, that. right. You, right. you wouldn't, though, right? Because everyone knows their mainstays. But had this, and that was amazing. And then, uh, oh, that was also when we had the Flat 12 Imperial Milk Stout that they barrel aged it with uh, breakfast magpie barrels. And that was <sighs> one of the best beers I've oh, ever had yes. in my life. What was that beer, man? I remember that beer. It was that a, was, it a was good their milk, it was a milk, their Imperial Milk Stout, and then they aged it. I forget what it was called, but man, that beer. Dog, that was the only good beer they had. That was the only beer I drank at the festival. Pretty much, that like that was fire. the one I kept going and I getting remember refills that beer. and refills. But that was the OG corn maze. Wow, OG wow. What Do you, you see legs on this? A little bit, but yeah. not much. What you got for us, brains? <laughs> we just need to start plugging you a mic. Up. Okay, I'm just gonna read this to you because I it. find it humorous. Do it. Cherry Busey is a three-time Great American Beer Festival medal-winning Flanders-style Oud Bruin Ale produced using a complex cocktail of wild yeast and aged in, wait for it, a bevy of <laughs> barrels. A bevy. So just a multitude of different okay. barrels. <laughs> yeah. You definitely get those wood tannins. Kind of gives off almost like a leather quality almost. Yeah, and a bit of dryness. Yeah, it is a little dry. I'm not mad mm-hmm. at that whatsoever because mm-hmm. it cleans your mouth off and makes you want to go for the next sip. Exactly. It makes it makes you want to drink some more. Right. And this beer is really easy to drink. What's the ABV on that? Breezy? It's not on the can. Oh, yeah, yeah we, we already had that discussion about Sun yeah, King and that's the ABV the one thing on You guys <laughs> got to get on that. Is your guys' is ABV on the cans. That's it. That's the only thing I'm going to gripe about. Well, but I'll gripe about any beer brewery. What? 6.9. 6. 6. So, oh, that's not yeah, no, that's, that's not, not terrible. No, no, you could drink heavy. a couple of those and be okay. Yeah, for sure. It's for a show. It, I I love Ode Bruins and <coughs> excuse me, and Flanders style ales. Those are one of my favorite styles of sours personally. And I know Oud Brune actually means some like old just something. means old. Yeah. Just old yeah, yeah, old yeah. brown sour beer basically. <laughs> Basically, what that means. That's gonna be me, like when I'm like 85 or some <laughs> shit. Well, like Rodenbach and a lot of those fellers, they'll uh, they'll take old and new of the mm, same style mm-hmm. and, and then do a, like a cuvee and blend them. You know what I mean? And then use your finished product. It blows me away how Rodenbach is so cheap in the scheme of things Man. for how good it is. Right, I agree. Metals for days. Yeah, yeah, and you can get that shit pretty much damn near anywhere. Damn near anywhere for what like. 15, 12, 10 bucks for a bomber. Man, you ain't paying 20. Four pack is, you're going to get a four pack of something for about the same. Did you ever try them uh, roll and box spritzers that they had? Dude, those were so good. I know. Dude, I forgot. <laughs> I that came in a little slimy can. Yes, yeah, in little slimy can. I remember buying like three or four four packs of those, and that was so good. So good. Bruh. So good. So good. So good. But yeah. Terry Busey, uh, Sun King. 
once again killed it. Killed it. I can't. I cannot complain about this beer. Cannot complain no. about the beer. What's the no. price point on this? Um, I think for one it was like what uh, like one is twelve, or you get two for twenty. Yeah, for 20. So you're basically okay. buying a bomber essentially right. for for that price. Right. Which I would so rather why have the bomber you, divided. Right. Why wouldn't you buy two of them? Exactly. Because you they can pack them that way. Right. Too. You don't have to have the whole bomber. You can just have happy. Right. <sighs> exactly. Right. Exactly. Ooh, you mentioned bomber. I did Almost mention like bomber. We had a bomber. We got upcoming. a couple of them up here. Got a couple of them. Um. So what have you been up to? And since the last time we've recorded? Oh, bro, man, up in Michigan, dog, up in the mid and doing the thing. Uh, went to Frankenmuth. Yeah, you said something about that. Yeah, I went to Frank and Moose, so, you know, helping the folks out, you know, cleaning up some stuff, you know. So, uh, me and my old man, you know, I like to sneak him out the house because he be with my eyes all the time. He got to. <laughs> yeah, got to. Gotta I got get that to. that therapy, man. Got, got, yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> got to get him out. I'm yeah. like, come on, Dad, you know, let's go ahead. I'm going to go grab some beer. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Does he drink beer? No, actually, he hmm. doesn't. Okay. But you know what's cool, though, is my dad will still get down, though. And I, I'm going to tell you, one of the things I like about beer is – the being able to share the experience with people who don't really know right. how the culinary side of mm -hmm. beer. So my dad, I was like, smell this, <laughs> smell this. He ain't going to drink it, but I'm right. like, smell this. And you're like, I don't smell anything on it. I'm like, no. I said, okay, do you smell citrus? Well, well, yeah. I'm like, okay, do you smell bread? Do you smell some sort of grain? And he's like, well, yeah. And I'm like, okay, so now I'm a, I got a flight. So I was like, it's okay do the same thing with this one. So it was really cool, you know, to sit and have that experience with him and football was on. Met, man, bumped into somebody who I oh, used to kick it with, not kick it, kick it, but work with back in an old job in the food service industry. Mm -hmm. And it's so interesting how people in the food service industry like stay in the food industry. Some people do, some people don't, but some people yep. be in that forever. Ride or die. Oh yeah. I mean for real ride yeah. or die. But yeah, man, Frank and Moo Brewery, it, it was pretty cool. Uh it's a Bavarian it's a Bavarian village for those who don't know. Uh oh. Don't cut the thumb off. I'm all right. <laughs> Keep going through story. <laughs> Cutting this wax. Cutting that wax. That dog. wax dip. Yeah, Frankenmuth is a nice little uh, German s German settlement. Had the chicken and the whatnot. So, yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time up in Michigan. It had a surprise. Son popped up. I ain't seen him since, like, January. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so he, it was all on some serendipity. I was yeah. like, okay, that's pretty cool, yeah. son. You pulled up at the same time Dad did. So, you know, we was kicking and hanging out whatnot. You know, that was pretty cool. You know, when, you, when uh, hardcore – gets to be that age yeah man that's when shit gets really really yeah. fun <laughs> yeah it's getting fun now it's it'll get start. funner right it'll right. get funner <laughs> shout out to hardcore my b-day miss you buddy mm -hmm. all right so we are going to the big boy and the, the big elephant in the room per se uh, the blue elephant the blue elephant um so this is a barrel aged version of my favorite two toms beer two toms the blue hawaiian milkshake ipa this is rum barrel aged this year. The whole thing is blue. Right. The whole thing is blue like last time. Got the nice blue wax. Um, comes in at 7.8% ABV. Um, they usually come out with the OG version every year, but it didn't come out yet this year. So this You said yet. If it, if it does come out. Okay. It usually comes out around August. I thought you had some inside intel Not, or something. Uh, this might be it. So this might Ooh. be what we get this year. So Ooh. we're going to crack this bitch open. Tom, is that all we get this year, dog? It better not, man. I just need some OG milkshake. Mm. Uh, Hawaiian. My milkshake make the boys go. Uh, yeah. If I can get this open. <laughs> There's so much damn wax on this thing, Tom. What are you doing, man? I'm just trying to drink beer, dog. I get it. You're trying to make it look Wax nice, dip. Wax damn. dip. I might have dropped the Easter egg, y'all. Wax dip, wax, wax dip. dip. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, oh, there she blows. God, the there she blows. Oh no! Look out, Winston. Oh, shout out to Winnie. Yep. Winnie got him a spa day today. Uh, oh, he did. <laughs> Winnie got it's his it. birthday too. Oh, uh, Winnie, it's your birthday, man. No, it's, not. it's not. Oh, we oh, your food. I'm just spreading fake news. Oh man, propagandist. Propagandist. Okay, finally, I think we got this down to the. <gasps> oh, word! Yes, yeah, shout Woo, out to Lily. Yeah, Lily. Yeah, shout out to Lily. Killing and of course, it. LB yep. and everybody. And Steph. Steph. 
Yeah. Everybody in the club. Everybody in the club. I might have on some jury. <laughs> I got I got some B jury. <laughs> I got some B jury. So tell me tell me how I got my B B jury. Our friend LB posted on his Facebook page that his daughter Lillian was making some bracelets. And anybody who knows me knows I uh, jumped on that shit because I'm always trying to support a friend and especially support a friend's children. Um, she was making bracelets and I bought a few and I got this really cool one that's made out of beads that appear to be eyeballs. And of course, I bought you know some black and gold ones, and she sent us a few extras. One of them being black and yellow. So ants, ants rocking the mohead colors, and I'm rocking the creepy shit. And I'm gonna put another one around my car mirror. Um, th- but thank you, Lily. We really enjoy them. You uh, have a great talent, and I really like the earrings you sent too. She also is a huge Warhorse fan, which is a, her favorite wrestler. Yeah, her favorite wrestler. And fuck yeah for Warhorse. Yeah. Warhorse <laughs> is so cool. He's like a heavy metal inspired uh, wrestler. Uh, what federation? Uh, he plays. He does a, d- a bunch of different stuff, but I think they're at. They have Summit Pro, I think, is what it's called. That goes on. I can't remember. LB, I know you're listening. Let us know um, what uh, wrestling federation or whatever uh, company that you guys watch at, at St. Louis. St. Louis. Yeah. So I'll dedicate this beer to LB. Since <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to yeah, LB. Sh- sh- shout out to the whole Pie Fam. Yes, right. The whole Pie Fam is the for whole you. Pie the two Tom. Oh, oh, by the way, oh, this is right? the two Tom's anniversary ale as well. One of their three anniversary ales. And what a fine beer to toast the pie. Right. With. Ooh, that smells phenomenal. So, <laughs> the it's blue Hawaiian good. milkshake IPA has so much shit in it. It has like. Do tell. Guava, pineapple, blue spirulina. I, I'm not even, that's not even half of it, I feel like. It's an IPA milkshake. Brains is looking at me like, what the fuck am I drinking? Anne's looking at me like, what the fuck am I drinking? Luau in, Luau in your mouth. I'm trying to tell you, it's like Don Ho is like <laughs> up in this mug. <laughs> trying to tell you. Oh. Tom, what in the fuck? That's amazing. Yeah, good, that's good, good do, Tom. Good that's do. really good. Good do. The 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 rum barrel really yes. play, makes this beer yes. so much fucking better. Yes. And the OG is so good, but this is damn. Yep. A Will Smith damn. It's Hawaii Five O. It is. It tastes like <laughs> it tastes like the uh, Hawaiian um, drink that um, oh the Hawaiian blue drink the Hawaiian punch. They had a they have a blue one. Tastes I like, didn't know. Tastes like that. See, back in back home, we only had the red Hawaiian punch. I, I've only had the blue like one time, but I distinctly remember because somebody had it at a party, and I was like, "Yo, who got the blue Hawaiian punch?" And like I do, I'm like, "Oh, you rich." But I'll you try. It. But you, I'll try it, and it was good. That's what it tastes like. But Dang it, well, well Hawaiian done, punch. two toms. Well done, Tom. Yeah, well, one hundred percent. Yeah, but don't he have a? Uh, uh, brewer though. Yeah, I think he's got an assistant or a, assistant? a second brewer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Seller man. Oh yeah. So yeah. So well done. I forget your name. I'm sorry, but well done to you as well. Show no. We will find that. Out. We'll find out soon. But yeah. Good Show job, no. guys. At two toms. Man, I'm not mad at this at all. But you know, I will say though, uh, and I don't know if it's the style. Maybe you can educate a brother. Uh, the headless horseman. It could buy a crane. It is an Ichabod, isn't it? Yeah, it's Ichabod think, crane. Yeah, it is an Ichabod crane. So. Barrel age barrel age beers tend, especially if they're bigger, uh, true, true, tend to not have much head or true. any head at all. With this, I don't know why it doesn't have any head. Maybe it has something to do with the barrel, but I know the OG version does have a pretty decent blue head. Well, and you know, I mean, it's interesting, like how if you look at the bubbles on the side, like how right. the, it, it's no, it's no lacing, but right. it's all, it's it's almost like it's a uh, beading, but it, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's not quite. And I think this is the bluest beer we've I've seen or we've had on the show so far. I mean, this is blue, blue, it, it, blue, blue. Stick out your tongue. It's blue. Is it? Yeah. Let me, <laughs> let me see your tongue. Let me see your tongue, blue thing. Yeah, it's a little blue. That's an experience right there. That's awesome. So there you go. Well done, Do you Tom. think that was intentional? I think so. I think so. When you're using natural food coloring, I mean, that's that's cool. What was the shit that he used uh, to make that blue beer that first time, the Smurf beer when we was back that's, in the day? That's the OG. No, oh, this is the OG. This, that's yeah. that's yes. that. Yes. The, oh. Yeah. So it's blue spirulina. Yeah. That blue algae. Yeah. The algae. The algae. Tasteless. Bro, you oh, was, was twisted on that. 
for a long. I just for a minute dude, you was twisted. Dude, I did not understand <laughs> how in the fuck can you make a blue beer without actual artificial coloring. Yeah, you and twisted then, on and that. And then we went to the 450 May, and I, I asked Tom. I was like, all right, I gotta ask, and he just straight up told me, and I was just like, that's it. And he's like, yeah, that's it, man. And I was just like, oh, okay, cool, <laughs> yeah, awesome, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out to him. Shout yeah. out to him though for uh, innovating. Right, and just being like, this is what I do. Like, not having any dark secrets or not, you know, telling somebody about, hey, this is how I do it. He just said, right. he just said hey, it's, it's he's sharing it's, game. Yeah, as you should. And he didn't have to. He could have right. been like, ah, oh, ancient Chinese right. secret, <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he could have. <laughs> but he didn't. But he didn't, so shout out to Tom. Good shout job, out Bob. to Tom. Good job. Yeah, yeah man. Brains, what, I mean, what have we done since the last recording? We've done traveling. No, we haven't really done a whole lot of traveling. We've just been working. I can't remember. Yeah. We've been working our asses off getting yeah. ready for Flannerpalooza Flanner Palooza tomorrow. Is tomorrow. Uh, Bug started school. Yep. Signed up for Start flag football. football. Mm. Yep. Um, I don't, nothing yeah. really just grinding. Yep, you know? we've just been grinding yeah. the last couple of weeks. Taking care of business. Taking care of business. Um, If you don't know, if you're probably wondering what Flannerpalooza is. Flannerpalooza is this thing that's been kind of going on since my dirty 30 birthday. Um, having We have like a seafood boil and whatnot. And hopefully one and scramps and scramps, crawfish, uh, crab, all all that shit. And do we and do we the corn, the potatoes, all that stuff. But one of these days, hopefully, uh, we'll look back on this at the the Flinger Palooza Festival when there's like ten breweries and like a truckload of of crab and and you have to pay that cover charge. You gotta pay right. that cover charge. You gotta pay to right. get in. So it's basically gonna be like a festival. So one day we'll be looking back on this and laughing and you know. Be thousands of people out there for Flinger Palooza, man, and I'm excited about that because it's already happening, right? Because I remember right. the initial man. So you were hey, there since day one, I, since man, the first. Hey, I'm an yep. OG. Yes, I'm an OG yep. up in yep. Flinger Palooza. You were there first, and our homeboy AJ, shout out to AJ, he was there. He's been there for all of them. Yep. So it's only Showing you up. two yep. besides me and Brian. We like the founders, right? Yeah, the OG four is what I like to call us. So. Uh, that'll it'll be fun tomorrow, bro. Are you excited, man? I'm really excited. I know you. Are I, you got a big? You got a big old kettle. Oh, dog. <laughs> Ninety quart pot kettle with dual burners at hundred and ten thousand. Dual burners, not I've, single I've, burners. Yeah, not single dual. Looks like I'm uh, uh, what using a hot air balloon torch. <laughs> um, oh, there's all winners. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Um, bro. So tell me. So to re. The crowd don't know how we right. got down like last year, right. and you was like trying to double pot that shit. So last year was <laughs> last year was the biggest year, right? The biggest amount of food, the most people yep. so far, and we so had so many freaking mud bugs. We did, we did. Um, I had so much, I had to use two p separate smaller pots than I did last year and yep. the year before, right? Yep. Yeah. So and then we had some issues, and it was just really a big hassle. So I said, "Fuck it," and I used some of my tax money uh, to buy a. Thank you, the United States government. Yeah, well, that's my money anyway, so. Well, but they don't have to give it to you back. <sighs> we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that later. But anyways, <laughs> got that big, got that big, my email. Yeah, yeah, got that big ass pot. And um, we're going to see how she works tomorrow. I'm so excited about that, man. Double burners, man. So like I say, I've been in it from the beginning right. right right so to see last year how you was like running from pot to pot scrambling, scrambling. yeah yeah, and yeah. Now i got a hoist system so i can we can pull up the this, the, the this, cage this brother got a hoist system i'm making sure that we don't fuck around this year or anymore at all we hoisting scrimps and crabs and bugs and corn right. and taters yeah. and then dude we Salsa. hoisting it yeah we hoisting it we hoisting that's it right. that's how we get down <laughs> It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope. I'm gonna make a nice uh, Cajun butter sauce that, like I do every year. Oh yeah, like I did last year. So it's gonna be yeah. So it's gonna be awesome. And don't forget the old bay. Oh, old bay's always in there. Old always. bay, all day. All day long, baby. All day long. <laughs> Man, we man, we gotta knock out this blue beer, man, because we still yeah. got some blue beer yeah, left we, and yeah, a beer left. We can probably save the rest of that uh, for post off mic, yeah. Because I'm ready to get into the smoke porter, man. I'm excited about this beer too. Man. There's a there's a story behind it. There's a little bit of a story behind it. Indeed. Well, while while we're uh, finishing off these blue beers, brother, uh, what's going on in the world of beer? Oh man, uh, Anchor's still dead. God damn it. Still trying to resurrect it. Y'all, come on. Y'all got to do better. Come on, y'all. Uh, something <laughs> something that I did see, and I'm sure. I mean, you you saw this. 
Anheuser Busch sold off yes, some of their brands. They did to the Tilray. Can- yep, Tilray, which is a technically a cannabis company. Yes, indeed. Um, and they also own like Sweetwater and a couple of other known weed beer yeah. distributor companies. Um, so now they own. I know for a fact they own Shock Top. Oh, yeah. I, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Basically, all the breweries that Anheuser Busch started buying up all of a sudden, they basically just sold them back. And you want to hear something funny. So, technically, ha, ha, so ha. technically, at this very given moment, Shock Top right now is a craft beer. It's independent. It's independent right now because yeah. that that company is yeah. is an independent company, so they're not like big game like Anheuser Busch is. So technically, all those breweries are craft b- breweries again. And they ain't even Anheuser Busch. They Sam a How or What's whatever. That? Oh yes, Breckenridge. <gasps> Breckenridge is one of those. Oh, yes, free Breckenridge. Yeah. Free Breckenridge. Now, it doesn't mean that y'all's beer hasn't gotten any better, but well, but still they but, free. But they're back. They're, they're free. Free, free to again. yeah, they're do free. better. Right, they're they free, free to do, do better. better again. So that's that's awesome. And there's I think like Devil's Backbone and maybe I think Wicked. W- Will you look up the brands real quick? Thank uh, you. they ain't gave a Wicked we They may have. Oh, I, don't know. I would be surprised. I can't remember. There was there was like eight of them, eight or ten of but, them. But but you know, to be honest, I guess I wouldn't really be surprised because their demo ain't Wicked Weed Drinkers. No, and I know you remember when they bought Wicked Weed. How people many people were shitty dude, about that? For a long people time. were shitty. There's a few people about that, that I do know that here are still shitty about that. Yep, man, I've <laughs> gone to Asheville several times and I ain't gone. Why would you? Because I've never gone before. Well, they're also one of those breweries that was very anti being bought out. They were, I mean, they, they were, they, they were like stone, yeah, they were. right? They yeah, were they like were. stone, and yep. then they yep. got bought out, yep. and that's why I'm yep. pissy, right? Yeah, that's why people was boycotting the uh, Funk Fest of exactly the, the fest that they right. did. So the breweries that was uh, bought by Tilray was Shock Top, Breckenridge, Blue Point, Ten Barrel. Who makes the the, the cucumber and the raspberry uh, sour? Those are fire. Red Hook, good old oh, Red, Red Hook. Hook. Red Hook. Widmere. Who? Widmere. W i d m e r. They're they're Widmere Brothers are an older brewery. Okay. From back in the day, Square Mile Cidery Company and Highball Energy. So there you have it. So Highball Energy, I'm presuming, is not beer. No, that's an energy drink. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, so they they don't they just have beers. They have energy drinks. They got marijuana. They've got they got it all. Wow, dude. you know they uh got uh infused energy drinks too. So this is an interesting play, man. Because I'm wondering how how much Tilray paid for those brands, and why did AB whoever uh got whoever bought AB. Why did they decide to let it go? Right, that's a good question. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because it's all strategic. It's all strategy. It's right. all strategic. Yep. I mean, this this shit wasn't just like okay, we gonna sell it. I mean, motherfuckers thought about this. Oh, it's a plan. That's what I'm saying. It has to be. That's what I'm saying. So I'm wondering what the plan is. Yeah, me too. I'm wondering what the plan is. So the plot is. thickens. Well, but so for Tilray, I mean, the right. plan is is very simple, man. They could just gonna throw weed and all that shit. I mean, they own Sweetwater. That's what I'm saying. So I mean, they already been playing how, and experimenting. Right. So how cool would it be if sweet they're able to get Sweetwater beer like the 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 terpene beers that they make? Right. How cool would it be to actually have like cannabis terpenes in that and those? You had beers? terpene shock top. D- wow. Yeah. Terpene yeah. shock top. Yeah. <laughs> make it yes. so Tilray. Yeah, but- Til- yes. Make it so. You're. I know you're listening right now. I you gots to be. Make make some terpene shock top. Bro, I, I I am not mad at Shock Top pre and, pre bought out. Yeah, pre bought out for I'm, what it is, right? Um, because that was their answer to Blue Moon, exactly. And so, if you put the two to two together, I mean, I wouldn't. I would probably go more Shock Top than than Blue Moon personally. One hundred percent. So, I mean, it's got more flavor, I think. 100%. And it's not trying to be what it's not. So think about if you threw some terps up in that mug. What, like, like what kind of terps? I mean. Like some lemon haze or strawberry cough. What you uh, thinking, dog? Uh, bro, I, I didn't even take it that far. I mean, I was going to do let's do it. I, I wasn't even going that far. But I'm just <sighs> thinking if you got terpenes in that right. beer, you could probably make a pretty good beer that would be attractive to right. a lot of yeah. folks. 
gimmicky and craft beer folks because they're independent now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm You're saying? You're bringing two different um, industries into one now, essentially. That's you what I'm what saying. I mean? And I ain't going to lie, man. I uh, I trade uh, weed stocks. Well, I used to, but, man, they in the gutter. They've been in the gutter probably like a year after COVID. They've been in the gutter. Hmm. And so I'm one right. So I'm wondering if Tilray, they trying to buck that by getting these brands and throwing terps and doing the thing in the beer so that they can have another uh, income stream because we, man, you, <laughs> you go up to Michigan – Weed cheap. Oh yeah. I oh, mean, yeah. pretty much everywhere weed is cheap right. now, man. Yep. Weed is cheap now. So if I'm Tilray, I'm thinking, hmm, well, you know what? Uh the weed weed prices is low, uh, but people still drinking beer. And if we do weed and beer together, we could create another income stream and get paid. Yep. How cool would it be to have like a an IPA with, with cannabis terps in it? That's it was, what it, I'm it makes sense, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? What are you saying? We're going to go to this next bomber. <gasps> Do tell what it is. So my we've brother. got birthday boy. This is a whale. This is a whale whale. <laughs> like Moby Dick type shit. <laughs> um, this is Alaskan Brewing Company's smoked porter. And I know if, if you are even remotely. A beer geek, you know Alaskan smoked porter. This beer has won so many fucking medals. It's unbelievable. Gold medal winner. Um, for it being a porter, they actually design it so you can age it time and time again. So this is 2022's really? edition. They usually, okay. come, yep. So this is got this in Wisconsin at um, Wisconsin. When we we're at a Wisconsin trip, discount lit. Was it called Discount Liquors? Uh, Boothang, you remember? The place where we got this and all those other drinkers. The place we should have went in the first place. When we were in M- Milwaukee? Yeah. I don't remember what it was called. Oh. I'll find out, though. Um, anyways, we're just looking around for different beers, and obviously I'm in there getting Drecker and stuff, and I look... Kelsey Groover was like, you like Drecker, don't yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I, don't, I hate Drecker. Um, I think I just... Jackie, y'all need to uh, hit us up for a sponsorship. Yeah, Just for real. Because remember the tattoo scheme we had. Uh, I'm still still open to that, Drecker. Yeah, it was discount, discount beer store. So, anyways, I'm I'm looking for this hypey shit, right? And I just look to my left and I see smoked porter. And to you the can left, to and the you left. can ask brains. I literally my I, my jaw dropped, you. and you would thought I saw Jesus. Like I Nailed was so excited. Or like free. Yeah, I had I, to do I that saw, to you. Uh-huh. I had to do that to you. I saw, post post nailization. Post nails. <laughs> so walking, so so walking around after being resurrected like with like, like holes I in his hands. It. I couldn't Jesus. believe what I saw. Couldn't believe seeing, exactly. Right? I couldn't believe what I saw. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. So I haven't had this. <laughs> I, I had this beer right before, like right when I started drinking craft beer, and I didn't know what I had. Which was when? What Man, year, brother tw- Trent? Two thousand and. Seven or eight. Oh wow! So bro. this has been a long time since I've had smoked porter, right? Wow! This Got on a, minute, yeah, had it on the whim. Somebody well, how many smoked porters can you find? More than it used to be, but it's there's still dime a dozen. But this is the literally the 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 forefront. This is the 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 gold. You said stand. the vanguard. Yeah, this is the gold staple of smoked porters. Well, crack that motherfucker. Let's open do it. In. Well, I got I got some Kool Aid still. I got to drink. This is literally the rinse water from that. Bro, from exactly. The last beer. The, I showed that the brains. Yours is bluer than mine, but I was like, wow, the rinse water is blue. Tom's stuff is blue, blue. It's blue, blue. So, uh, smoke porter six and a half percent ABV. It's actually a year old. It's it's meant to. Oh, age. it's only six and a half percent. Yeah. Well, I guess it's a porter after all. But there are imperial porters. There are Easter egg, y'all. Wink, wink. Y'all ain't paying attention. No one's paying attention. Uh, uh, got this at the discount. This was actually pretty discounted, and <laughs> nobody knew what. I mean, you could tell that no people just walked by it. It looks good. You oh, you poured yours. It looks yeah, good. Poor man. head, that, that poor, poor heavy, head, y'all. That poor heavy style, baby. Poor heavy style. It's, I mean, it's pretty dark for a porter. <clears throat> Sorry, everybody. Uh, it's pretty dark. It's got a nice tan head. The head's not like super heavy, but we also not like getting it like cray cray neither. But it's very resuscitatable, bro. I smell it. 
and it's far away oh, from me. Oh man, it's far away from me, and I smell Look it. Look at her. Is that a good or a bad? Mm, she's like, mm. I don't know. She's like, brands don't like smoke beers. I know you don't really fuck with smoke beers either. I mean, I, I love my man, so you know, I f- I fuck with him right. just because you fuck with right. him. I try him out. I don't have to drink it twice. <laughs> oh, I have to drink it twice. Yeah, it's really pleasant. The smoke's not very. You heavy. said pleasant. The smoke's not heavy. Okay. Oh, brains! Look at her. She's oh, like, oh, okay. brains has the boo boo face. Brains got the no. That's like that's face. the good boo boo face. Oh, really? That's that good good face. Okay. It probably helped. That's a little bit older, but brains, I don't think smoke be really ages that bad. Like either. those those little lines right there. <laughs> when you did that, I was like, oh, she don't like it. <laughs> But I was deceived. I was deceived. Okay, now I know the difference. Now I know the difference. I'm not mad at this. Okay, at so all. let me let me see what's up. It does not taste like taco starfish and hot dog flavor. Come on. <laughs> well, even the, the 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 nose on it, you know. So I've had some uh, hot dog beers, and I'm like, God dang, man, that's just smoky. Smoky, 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 smoky. Like ashtray. No. Yeah, yeah, this yeah is like pleasant. ashtray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not terrible. Man. We might we ha- we might have to overrun, <laughs> maybe just a little bit. Just a um, little bit. Besides pepper beer, people know if you don't know that smoked beer is number two on my game. I love me some good smoke. I'm a smoke chaser. I love me some good smoke. I'm a smoke boy. Uh, Chadwick, I know you're kind of me listening. You're also a smoke chaser, so this is for you, buddy. But you know what, Trent? Uh, so <laughs> this this. Bottle label is so freaking country. Like they got a moose on this motherfucker. <laughs> it's not changed either. Really, it has not changed. Interesting. So it's very Alaskan. Very Alaskan. If you in Alaska, you looking at this label and you're like, yeah, I get yeah, that's that. Alaskan right there. Man, this wood. Yeah, it's a little got a little woodiness to it, bro. I get a lot of wood. Yeah. You said, look, I get a lot of wood. I get a lot of dark chocolate too. When it comes to porter aspect. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I get dark chocolate, too. Yeah. I get dark chocolate and wood. Man, speaking of Alaska, did you hear about what happened last week? I did not. Of the border of Alaska? What? Do tell, good brother. So Russia and China thought they could... <gasps> stick, were they tag teaming? Stick their dick somewhere where it shouldn't be. Right? What? What was they, was they tag teaming? They were tag teaming. What? And they were off the coast of Alaska, and they started getting closer, and then we dispersed like five battleships. And then they just turn right the fuck around. So all I'm gonna say is, and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna soapbox <laughs> it because this is not what we. Bruh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a commentary on it. <laughs> if, for one, if they even tried to evade Alaska, I feel bad for those poor bastards that try to invade <laughs> Alaska because <laughs> what's in Alaska? There's bears. This is basically the, the the snowy Australia. Every animal wants to kill you, and then there's a bunch of backwoods motherfuckers with pump guns. I feel bad for the Sawed Russians. And the, shotgun, I feel bad. Pump. I feel bad for them. Any motherfucker who tries to go in in Alaska or the Appalachian Mountains. I tr- I dare you. I dare you. You will literally be in Vietnam. So Trent Fleener, it's so funny that you said <laughs> the hills that. are talking, bro. It's so funny that you said that because. That's why America. That's why America is America. Right. We got guns. We got the shit. We 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 keep guns. We keep guns. Hey, dude, this country was guns, was born, missiles, yep. planes, yep, ships, tanks, all that bullshit. Humvee. Oh man, c- h- pull up on America and see what happens, man. Right. Since a gun will pop up, bro. What happened since nine eleven? And and think about how nine eleven went down. It wasn't like yep. motherfuckers just rolled up on the shores. Right. Because if you roll up on the shores, you hit. Fucked. You hit. You might get halfway through New York, maybe. <laughs> maybe. You might, but all the gangs in New York, maybe. dude. And, and, and that's before the military hit. Even show up. That's what I'm saying, right. man. Man, that's why America is America. Because we have, yeah. we we keep fire. I mean, power. this country was literally born with gunpowder. That's Exactly. So, in the Indians, so man, I man, I get down with the natives who was in America, but they had arrows. They did not have gunpowder. Right. And so and that's and, and here yeah, we are. Yeah, and here we are. Right. And here we are. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and here and we here, are. And here we are. Here we. <laughs> here we are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah here we are. So if so, let's let's just say, <laughs> this is so crazy. So let's just say that 
more natives had more guns during that time. What if they? What if they had the guns? We wouldn't be here. And there you go, because them motherfuckers fought tooth and nail right. with fucking arrows yep. and knives and, and horses fists. and shit yep. and fists yep. and all that shit, man. But I mean, rightfully so. Right. Rightfully so. I, I heard a an interesting fact that when Native Americans would they knew they were going to battle the next day. So in order for them to get the upper hand, they would drink a shit ton of water the night before, natural alarm clock. You drink Gotta a get shit, up and pee. Gotta get up and pee at 5 o'clock in the morning. That's when we strike. Because the other motherfuckers ain't like waking sleeping. up that exactly. right. And they go and take care of business, right? So it's like... <laughs> they, <laughs> it's funny how uh, people have went from sticks and arrows Sticks and stones. to literally fucking pressing a button bro and ending it bro that's what i'm saying that'll never happen i don't think but here's the thing no man what people don't realize is man the warfare that's going on right now that ain't nobody paying attention to is cyber warfare man oh yeah oh yeah ain't ain't, ain't oh, nobody yeah. paying attention to that shit so yep. we we've been at war for a while for a while but motherfuckers like oh Not, you know fuckers ain't dropping right. bombs yep. and blah 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 Online, you don't need to. Online, exactly. Right. You don't need to. Like you know the the group anonymous. Mm-hmm. Dude, they're they they fucking hate Russia, and they're they've been going through and getting Putin and and the Russian government and all their shit. I mean, they've been fucking. I ain't hip, dude. They they've been fucking their shit up. Fire the internet. Right. Webs. Yep. But yeah, um, that was that was my tidbit. Bro. I didn't mean to make it to to this, but yeah, hey, it happens. Is, it happens it, when you're drinking beer and having a good time, right? Yeah, 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 man. But you want to know something, though, Trent? I ain't going to lie, man. I'm glad I'm in America because, <laughs> like I say, if motherfuckers pull up, it ain't going to be a good day. It's really not. <laughs> so at I, the, know, it, I, I know that's cocky of us, but at, really at the end of the day, though, I, I feel bad for any motherfucker who steps in our, our fucking soil. And even in the, So here's the thing. Even even if the military didn't show up, even if the police didn't oh show God. up, I mean, I might have I might have some guns. It's not the police <laughs> and the military that foreign invaders need to be scared of. It's all it's the, the citizens. It's the citizens, all the veterans, all the the yeah, people, the backwoods go. people in Appalachia. It's all there the people in Alaska. Go. It's all there you all go. the people in the Dakota. You know what I mean? Like there you go. it's the American people. There you go. That's what the you American be people. Of. That, that, that's what I'm saying, man. And man, but you want to know what's fucked up though, Trent is, you know, we scared of one another though, too. That's the sad part. That as a country, we should be together. That's what I'm saying. And holding hands together and up in arms together, but really this country has got us so divided. That's what I'm saying. And I said this and I know you'll remember this, but when the George Floyd shit was going on, all the protests and we were more divided than we were since 1861. Yep. Prove me wrong. I wouldn't try to, but just saying. So that was you, theoretical. But you want to know something, though, man? I mean, so now that you brought George Floyd right. into it, man, you know what makes me sad about that whole thing is the fact that the whole world came together, bruh. The whole entire world, dude. The whole world literally, literally, literally. came together. Yeah. So the room. So rumor has it. Rumor has it. Rumor has it that the civil rights movement was like 50,000 people. So think about that, man. 50,000 people, if that's true, 50,000 people made the Civil Rights Act happen in 10 years and the Voting Rights Act happen in 11 years. Let's just say it was 100,000 motherfuckers. Fuck it. Let's just say it was a quarter million. The motherfuckers who got down with George Floyd was well exponentially over that number. Yeah. And what happened? Yep. Nothing. Zero. Well, I wouldn't say zero. Well, and I wouldn't even say nothing really. But I mean in the scheme of things with with with, with the balance of power at that time. Right. Man, I holler right. at people, man, I holler at people now where, you know, DEI was the shit back in uh, you know, when George Floyd hopped off, everybody was trying to get on DEI and everybody was trying to get woke and all the bullshit. Man, people who got in on the DEI game back then, like now, they like, man, I'm like struggling to fucking find some fucking gigs and fucking I was busy like two, three years ago. And right. it's like, mm-hmm. well, remember Black is Beautiful, how heavy that came in. And then it just, just vanished. 
that should have kept going and going and going and going. Facts. It shouldn't have just stopped right there. 100% fact. Because I was looking for it. And then we talked about how it's coming back again with the, the IPA thing. Yep. But that should have just kept going. It shouldn't have stopped. It should have just kept pushing that momentum forward. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So it didn't happen. And here we are. <laughs> yeah. And here we are. And here we Talking are. Talking about it, right. And here we are. And but but again, you know, that's that's the whole America vibe though too. Yep. Right? So I mean, you know, black is beautiful was cool for a sec, but then it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Uh other initiatives that pop up hot for a minute and then, then they're gone. not. Right. And then they're not. You know what I'm saying? So that's the flip side of America. We're very influential. But I ain't I ain't trying to leave. I don't want to leave. I ain't trying right, to leave. no reason to, right? I ain't trying to and leave. And like you said before, if you don't like it, just get the fuck out, right? Bro, I be telling motherfuckers that shit all the time. Yeah, if you don't like it, fucking leave. Motherfuckers, no literally, motherfuckers literally dying to get here. Yes. Still. Still. Yeah. Still. Oh, didn't y'all get the memo? We suck. <laughs> <laughs> we We're racist the, and all the bullshit. We ain't the best country anymore. Yeah, we ain't, like the, best, yeah, we we ain't right. the best country anymore. But uh, here we are. Her brain scratching her nose like, She's like oh, what the get, fuck are you guys y'all, doing y'all right getting, now? Y'all, y'all going, ah! You know what I think everybody needs to do? ELE. Love, E-L-E, everybody. love everybody. Everybody love everybody. Everybody love everybody. But yep. no, for real. What was that old, uh, if I could buy the world a Coke thing? If I, if oh, I could buy yep. the world a beer. Yep. Everybody just needs to sit down. Have a beer. Have a beer. ELE. Everybody love everybody. There's no reason to think that you don't have a shit ton in common with the person sitting next to you because Facts. I guarantee you speak the truth you have more in common with your neighbor that you have been judging your than entire you, time than yep. you think and ELE, ELE. Everybody, everybody love everybody. everybody love everybody we're all here we're all this human one, one life we're all humans we're all just trying to get by shit happens and things suck more often than not but there's power in people and if people band together and realize we've got more in common than differences the world would be a better place yep. our country would be a better speak place. it girl <laughs> speak that, it that's my two cents that was your 25 cents i was i was <laughs> awesome no that was awesome i mean that's very i mean that's inspired that's some shit that people need to get inspired beer. It's beer. over beer i mean beer has literally formed countries it has brought down wars i mean it beer is literally has saved lives Bro, keep that going, people. That's what I'm saying. I love how you hopped into that brains and you was like, "If I could buy the world a beer and keep it company." Yeah, I mean, yeah. come on. Yep. I mean, that's why Coca Cola ain't broke, cause they come up with shit like that. What if we came together like that? There's no strangers at the bar. One hundred percent. Yep. And if you at a public house, you ain't got no TVs. You, you got gotta no talk options. to a motherfucker. You have no options. <laughs> but you know what? I heard a rumor that that's why prohibition was a thing. Because people would come in and they would be kicking in and drinking beers. And they're like, wait a minute. This is some bullshit. Yep. Why, is it, why do I have to sit in someone's basement and do this with you when we should just be able to just do this whenever the fuck we want with whoever we want and talk about what we want over a glass of beer? Yeah, man, and they was just talking about like the government, like how people Dude. talk about the government. Yep, they were just talking about clean out their gutters and how bullshit that they can't drink beer legally. And so then the rumor has it that people was like trying to break that shit up because mm-hmm. people was like going to the taverns like, hey, well, wait a minute, why the fuck are we paying taxes? Then we then we leave Britain because we didn't want to pay taxes. Why the fuck are we paying taxes? And prohibition popped off. Rumor has it. I can't, I mean, I didn't live back then. I can't prove it, but I've heard rumors, you know, that prohibition was like not really about beer so much. Yep. Or alcohol in general. Or alcohol in general. Right. All about the control and you can't get people united. You can't, don't let the world buy one another a beer and keep each other company. It's (laughs) funny how the United States isn't, doesn't really want you to be so united, right? Ain't that something. Ain't that something. Ain't that something. 
but birthday. happy birthday with that being said happy birthday to me thank you happy so much for birthday showing up you guys you. Happy i appreciate you listening to, to us you. don't forget to happy do all the things go to tiktok happy the patreon all that shit happy, happy birthday to birthday, me brother trent happy thanks a lot of smoked uh porter from alaskan if Killed you guys it. would like to see deacon brother trent and uncle paul eat the one strip challenge from hot boys Ooh. jump on our patreon yep. and watch them shed tears of pain it's a uh, it's worth it i promise go check it out starting in uh, september our patreon will be live and if you go and read all about our different tier options, you get all the behind the scenes goods and all the stuff that you don't get here on the Mohead Y'all Show. It's worth it. I promise. Go check it out. Love you. Bye. Bye. See ya. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. Yo, don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and Patreon. Patreon. Remember to enjoy responsibly. Take care of each other.